Today we have something pretty exciting because what we're going to be doing is showing a very interesting process called electroforming. Basically this derives from plating and what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a wax mold of our original piece that Kalev had made of a trophy and we're going to then plate to it so that we can build up a nice metal outside in copper and at that point in time we can take the wax out and we'll have a perfectly formed little thing uh, only using the electroplating process. I'm Dave Granger. I'm the president of the Guild of Automotive Restorers, a restoration company that's been in business for over 30 years. We have restored over 2,500 cars, trucks, and other vintage vehicles. If you're curious about what goes on behind the scenes of a large restoration shop, join us at the Guild's Classics. It's just copper, uh, conductive paint, water-based. It's to make the wax um, conductive. Got to conduct electricity. This, this is the end result. That's, that's the product. That's what I'm trying to make. <clears throat> the original was an aluminum carving that Kalev did. I made a mold of that. I made a mold of the original aluminum one. Then I made a bunch of wax copies. Those are all the copies I made, some of them. We're gonna end up with something like this. I can either make it really, really shiny mm -hmm. or antique like that one. Now, I've got one that I prepared yesterday. So we can put this one in the tank and start making the coating for it. May I make an actual shell of solid copper. Now this is copper sulfate in solution with a little bit of uh, sulfuric acid added to conduct electricity. Now there's copper in solution in this blue stuff, but it gets used up when we pass the electrical current through it, so we're providing the solution with another source of copper to keep adding to the fluid. That's what these are, sacrificial anodes. It takes a very, very long time. But once the current starts flowing, I'll show you this in a second, once the current starts flowing through everything, comes from the copper electrodes and goes to what I'm going to be hanging in the middle, the car. And about 12 or 24 hours later, this will have a solid coating of copper on it, about a oh, sixteenth of an inch thick. And this is just a wetting agent to make sure there's no air bubbles on it when I hang it in here. <clears throat> Trouble is it's wax and it wants to float. We can fix that. I'm going to solder these two wires together. Now this is just a tinning compound. This is a power supply. It's going to provide the electricity for moving the uh, copper ions through the solution. Positive to my sacrificial anodes. So the idea is to suspend my target right in the middle of the two anodes. Now I can hook up the negative. Once we get it positioned, we just leave it for 12 to 24 hours. Okay, here comes the power. And we just start with about a volt. One volt 
and a half an amp of current is traveling through everything and going back to the power supply. Just uh, 10 or 15 minutes, we'll see if it's depositing evenly. And if it is, I'll crank it up to a couple, three volts. Yep. Yep, it's coating. Remember what it looked like before. Yeah. And that's becoming copper. Now we just leave it for a day. See what happens. I know there's still lots of wax in there because when it's empty it'll float. Well, you can just Polish it up if you want a little bit. I can nickel plate it. I can do a bunch of things with it. But it, I'm going to give it to Kalev and he'll shine it up. Put it on another trophy.